Mitch the RV Guy here bringing you one of the best pre-owned Class C's you're ever going to run into. Okay, it's under 30 foot. It's made by Winnebago, Itasca, and it has a rear walk-around bed and slide-outs. What more could you ask for? It's a 2006 29 foot Itasca, and I'll tell you, when you're going down the road in this baby, you're going to really feel the Winnebago difference. Why? Winnebago pretty much is just a generic term for motorhome. Let me start out by showing you the inside. Inside the Spirit, you can really see what I'm talking about. You've got the slide out that not only has good headroom, so you're not going to stand up and knock yourself out. Real nice glass inlaid deep storage. That's real usable space. That's not veneer storage like most of them give you. Even the little details, like actually having the same fabric on your cloth as on the window coverings makes a big difference. You have the space behind the couch. That way you have a place for you to be able to put cups and drinks and just about anything that normally the kids would try and put on the floor and it turns into a bed in seconds with a jackknife. Right across from it, you've got the large dinette. This is actually big enough for two full-sized adults on the side. A lot of dinettes are a lot smaller than that. And you've got lots of storage space underneath, which is very, very nice for you to be able to put anything that you don't gain access to that often or, or stuff that you still want. You've got an area for storage right up here, which is real cool. And they have gone ahead and done the futuristic HDTV upgrade, which turns out and faces just about anywhere. You've got all sorts of storage above the dinette. And guys, keep in mind, we've been selling pre-owned motorhomes for over 37 years, A-plus Bayer Business Bureau, the whole time. You've got your privacy curtains here, so when somebody's sleeping, you can slide them shut. But they do have the nice front view, big exhaust fan up there so they can get nice circulation. And look, a lot of them forget to give you a duct in the sleeping area so that when it's private, they're not sitting in there dying if it's the summertime. And you do have a huge, nice, comfortable, I mean, let's face it, everybody uses a Ford chassis because it's the best one for this year, for sure. You've got the very nice construction. Now look, see how the roof is crowned? Now even if most of them have crowned roofs, underneath they got a flat roof. That means if the water gets in through the roof, it sets on the flat roof. On this, it still gets channeled out to the sides. It doesn't pull and create dry rot. You've got a nice little counter space area right here with storage underneath it, and that gives you access to your audio Vox sound system controls if you needed to get there. And nor cold temperature adjustable refrigerator freezer. You know, there's only a few things on your motorhome that cost a lot of money if they break. Your refrigerator, your air conditioning. That's why you want to demand like a Norco refrigerator or Coleman Mac AC systems. The a AC systems in Winnebago is famous. In fact, they have the basement Coleman Ac uh, Mac system that they use in their Class A's. They get a discount on the Coleman Macs that they get in their Class C's. So it makes it so that they can put the nice ones in here. Generator stop start along with your tank test. And coming into the bedroom for a Class C, You've got to be kidding me. Look at all this space. Walk around. It's got DC outlets on both sides, so you can both be charging your phones. You don't got to fight over who's getting the phone charger. Lots of space here in terms of your actual storage for clothing, deep drawers as opposed to those tiny little drawers. Keep in mind, every time that you get a drawer that's real small, most of that drawer is taken up by the actual drawer mechanism. You don't get a lot of storage space. The deep drawers actually help you get a lot more than double the storage space of the smaller ones. And you got a nice little get-ready area right here. Looking at the bathroom real quick, you have privacy, right? You want privacy? Look at that. The bathroom door actually doubles as a privacy door so that you can take a shower. I can actually sit here and close off the bathroom entirely from the rest of the coach. That way somebody can be in there and have complete privacy. Or I can open it up and it's like a master bedroom back here now all of a sudden, which is really nice. And when you actually take a look in the actual bathroom area itself, Notice that it's not super cramped like a lot of the smaller ones give you. You actually got a decent amount of room. Let's go ahead and through the magic of video editing and teleportation technology, let's have me beam to the outside. Now Winnebago really started taking off building Class C's in the 70s and just crushed everybody with their quality. Let me show you what I mean. There's a few small things. For example, you see right here where you have your front cap. You notice where it comes together with the roof right there, how it has that molded cap piece right there. You see on this other Winnebago, it also has that. Now take a look here, camera guy. Zoom into that same location here on this coachman. See how it's just an exposed seam? Winnebago takes the time to actually seal all the areas that are major leak risks on their vehicles with solid capped materials. Because they've been building these for so long that they've already discovered all the trouble points and they work real hard. So for example, you see how you have the molded fiberglass seam going all the way across the top of the front slide out? That's your most problem part on almost any Class C. And again, if camera guy take a look and zoom into that front cap on that Coachman, which is another comparable product, just like how the uh, 
fi uh, the Fleetwoods are made, that's just rolled fiberglass. It does not give you the strong molded bathtub-like protection over the seam that the Winnebago gives you. Now, of course, Mr. Motorhome's been selling these for 37 years. Look at the big old awning and tons of storage underneath. These are the nice latch style baggage doors too. The whole time we've had an A plus better business bureau rating. And folks, we've only been selling pre-owned RVs that entire time. That is a dedication to quality that we will never stop. Look at how nice all of the fiberglass is. This is some very nice fiberglass. You can tell it's been mostly stored inside. More storage on here. You got the nice, nice ability of knowing that Winnebago is also a brand name that everybody recognizes. This truly is the, the Toyota when it comes to uh, quality of RVs for sure. Notice the molded fiberglass cap here on the top. That's another high risk leak area. Take a look over there on that coachman again and you can see that again, it's just that plastic seam that most of them leave you with. You don't want to buy the competition when you don't know what the small differences are to look for for quality, but you can really tell when you see this, you got your slide out toppers that protect it from any type of debris that comes in or even just dirt. If you're out camping and a bunch of dirt comes in on top of your slide outs, when you bring your slide out in, all that dirt's in there and the spiders and the bugs and just about anything else. And you've got even more storage over here. Of course it has a generator so you can just hit a button and have power anywhere you go. And I'll tell you, when you get something from Mr. Motorhome, you have the peace of mind in knowing that we guarantee in writing, everything's gonna be working on it. Down to the light bulb, unless it has like an old VCR player or something like that. <laughs> and folks, please, you gotta visit us. I beg you, if you wanna get a good deal, don't get scrawled by going somewhere else. 9501 East Stockton Boulevard. We are top to bottom, your RV source. We've got an incredible service department, completely indoors. You don't gotta worry about leaks. We got a great parts department and our consignment program. I promise you the great potato famine, that was because they consigned potatoes with us back then. If only the Irish hadn't told us, we'll sell as many as you can. We just sold them all. Well, they learned their lesson. Mitzi RV guy, hoping to hear from you real soon.